Welcome to Dafa News presents KFC Pakistan versus England Test Series and what a match we've had here at Rawalpindi. Over 1,700 runs scored, 700 scores in all from both ends and bowlers did so well from England to get those 20 wickets to win this match by 74 runs and not only the game, also go one up in the series. Now before we uh, give away the individual awards and performances, let me introduce you to our presentation party. Starting off with Mr. Faisal Hasnain, CEO Pakistan Cricket Board. Next to him, Mr. Mia Amjad, Regional Head KFC Pakistan. Next to him, we have Mr. Sarmad Ijaz Awan, Business Head North Bank Alfala. And then last but not the least, Mr. Ghulam Hussain Shahid, Chairman Kingdom Valley. Let's start off with our awards and we'll first request Mr. Sarma Dejazewan to please step forward. He will be presenting Bank Alfala Outstanding Performance Cash Award of 100,000 rupees to James Anderson for his wonderful bowling performance. Five wickets in all in the test match. First innings, 22 overs, four maidens, one for 52. And second innings, 24 overs, 11 maidens, four for 36. Brilliant performance from James Anderson. Next up, I'll uh, request Mr. Ghulam Hussain Shahid to please uh, give away the Kingdom Valley Best Bowler of the Match Cash Award of 100,000 rupees. And that goes to Ollie Robinson for his five wicket overall in the test match. First innings, one for 72. And the second one, 22 over six maidens, four for 50. And Oli, don't go far away because we've got another award for you and that will be presented by Mr. Mia Amjad. He'll be presenting the KFC Player of the Match Trophy and Cash Award of 100,000. And that goes to Oli Robinson for his overall brilliant performance with the ball in the test match. Five wickets overall and four for 36 in the second innings. We also have a quick word with you. When you have over 1,700 runs being scored in a test match, it's a tough outing, you know it, as a bowler. Yeah, I think um, the pitch wasn't that favourable for our, our seamers, but we, we managed to get the ball going um, and we just toured away all day today. I think every single man out there today left nothing behind and it was a great effort. So is it really more about sticking to basics in conditions like these and just wait for your opportunities as a bowler? Yeah, I think so. We had to be patient at times. Um, we knew there would be partnerships, but we knew if we could get a fresh batter in against the reversing ball that we'd have a good chance of sort of getting a bang-bang. And then Ben Stokes declaring in, in that fashion just puts a little more responsibility to the bowlers to get those wickets in those sessions available. Yeah, definitely. Um, we knew it would be hard, obviously, but we just toured away, like I said, all day. Um, but the batters gave us that opportunity. Scoring the runs as quickly as they did, we wouldn't have, have had the time that we had to get those wickets. So a lot goes to them as well. Would you put this right up there in one of your performances and tests? I think so, yeah. Coming to Pakistan and playing on this, this, these flat wickets, um, probably the best test one I've had so far, definitely. Well bowled and uh, congratulations on winning this. Thanks. All right. So that's Oli Robinson, of course, uh, the player of the match and, of course, the outstanding bowling performance as well. Now I'll request uh, the captain of Pakistan, Babar Azam, to please come and have a few words with us. Baba, a testing uh, test match overall, when you have 650 plus runs scored in just a day and a half, you're always catching up on the game. Uh, yes, uh, we are catching, uh, we are start uh, uh, with the bowling, but uh, uh, we are not up to the mark. Uh, and uh, after that, uh, after the 600, uh, so we have a plan to uh, exit our plans and uh, try to uh, first inning uh, and uh, uh, try to have up the score. Uh, but uh, we do, and but uh, I think uh, second inning we have a golden chance to win this uh, test match. But uh, I think uh, uh, session by session we have uh, lost wickets, so that's why I lose the match. As a fielding captain, was it really tough out there? You had a young bowling attack and a lot of responsibility on a pitch which was more favourable to batters. Uh, Yes, uh, I think uh, our bowling lineup is uh, young, but unfortunately, uh, Harris uh, Rauf uh, uh, injured in first innings, so that, that uh, cost us. Uh, but uh, uh, all credit to my bowlers. Uh, after the injury, they have a uh, uh, ball very well, uh, and uh, our spinners are ball good. As a captain uh, in the field, you always will be having a thinking cap on the opposition scoring almost seven runs in over, just managing the field and trying to stop the runs rather than wickets than at one stage. 
Uh, to be honest, I have a little bit difficult because of uh, you think uh, differently and then uh, opponent uh, you score like a seven an hour and six and an hour. So we, we plan to restrict, uh, restrict our plans, but uh, I think credit to all the team, uh, England teams. Did your declaration surprise you during tea or you were expecting this had to happen somewhere around? We are expected, uh, so we have a plan uh, according to because of we know the, he declared after the TO maybe uh, last session we have a played and uh, we have a plan according to uh, situation and uh, yeah, uh, but I think we have a, a, a head uh, in second innings, we have a opportunity but uh, as, the, as, as we know we have a lose uh, wickets and then we are not building partnership uh, uh, in the end, that's why we are low. In the end, uh, opposition goes one up in the series. What are the positives that you'd like to take from here to Muldan? We have a lot of uh, positive things. Uh, we have uh, uh, our bat batting lineup is uh, performed very well and uh, uh, bowling uh, also very well. So we try to uh, continue that momentum in next match. All right. Thank you very much for talking to us, Babar Azam, the captain of Pakistan. Now I'd like to invite Ben Stokes, the winning captain, captain of England, to please come and have a few words with us. It's been uh, pretty much a roller coaster when you started off batting first inning six and a half runs and over second inning seven and a half. This was already planned, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a few things that you can plan for, which is obviously the way that we want to go and approach um, test cricket. But some of the things that you can't plan for is obviously what um, you know happened to the to the squad. You know, a few days before the test match, I think. Um, you know, that seems a long time ago when we're running around wondering if we're going to start the, the test match on time. So, you know, I've got to give my, the group of players a, a serious a lot of credit for, for coming here, turning up a little bit under the weather and, you know, some, some key individual, um, you know, performers, you know, like Will Jacks getting the nod to make his debut about three minutes before team time and, and then Popey having to don the gloves, obviously, you know, with the crucial role batting at number three, you know, you could go through this whole test match and, and point out key individuals, but, um, you know, I think the, what we've had to deal with coming to this test match makes this win um, even a little bit better. England is playing a certain uh, style of cricket in across three formats, but was it something in your mind that looking at the youngish bowling attack from the opposition that you wanted to capitalise from day one? Uh, no, not particularly. I think you know it's you know we've we've played for like eight eight or nine Test matches now with myself and Brendan in charge, and um, one thing that we do try and do is focus on ourselves more than the opposition. You know we. Um, we're always going to look to, to go out and take the positive route, with uh, whether that be with bat or ball in hand, and try and not um, sort of second guess ourselves with what the opposition is going to offer. You know, we know we're a um, you know very uh, exciting team, um, and on you know obviously it's a great batting surface to bat on. So you know it was a it was a real opportunity for for the talent that we've got in the dressing room to go out and express themselves and. You know, we've got some broken, we've got some broken bodies up in that changing room after this last five days. You know, got Jimmy at, let's see, 40, 48 now, I think. They probably won't like me saying that, but you know, having the lads running and trucking, you know, all day like that today is, is honestly, it's, as a captain, it's, it's amazing to see the, um, you know, the amount of enthusiasm in the heart that everyone shows. The lads in the field, Keaton Jennings coming out, you know, and, and, and fielding for um, Liam Livingston, who unfortunately has got an injury, and you know, being under the lid for all that time, you know. Um, I don't think I've seen a group of players who want to, to put the body on the line as much for you know, the other 10 guys out on the field, so really special group of players. You seem to be reading the game very well, even session-wise, all the decisions that you made just kept paying off, and especially that declaration that you did during tea. Just run us through that. Yeah, well, you know, we wanted to we wanted to come here to Pakistan um, and carry on with our mantra of exciting cricket and you know giving ourselves the best opportunity to to win a Test match. Um, you know, I've got no interest in playing for the draws. The dressing room's got no interest in playing for the draws, and always trying to look at the the positive option. Um, and you know, on, on wickets like this, you know, you've got to make things happen. Um, you know, with the way that you go out and play, you know, score your runs quickly, hopefully, and and then make some you know some pretty rash and bold decisions with your field placings and bowling changes and stuff like that because I felt on this kind of wicket it was almost enticing the batsman into playing some attacking shots which is where you're going to get the opportunity to take a wicket um, whereas today we, we were very fortunate that we managed to get the ball reverse swinging and that obviously brought our seam bowlers back into it um, you know, then that's the option we went with was to predominantly go with our seam bowlers and you know, that paid dividends with the spell of you know, James Anderson and Robinson I thought were absolutely fantastic today. 
The calculation of the declaration just seems so perfect. Though Pakistan started off pretty well last night in the final session, this morning they were getting the required runs or the run rate that was needed. At any point you felt that you want to revisit that or you're pretty sure that it's coming your way? No, I mean, at, at the lunch break, it was exactly where we wanted it to be. You know, I went said to the lads in the dressing room, you know, this is why we declared, this is why we want to be here. And then we found ourselves in the perfect position for setting this game up to be an exciting finish. And it definitely was. We probably had about eight minutes, I reckon, before we were going to come off. So, um, you know, it, it's a great place to be. And, you know, personally, I, I think this is maybe up there with one of England's greatest away test match wins. Um, it's just, it's incredible. You know, there's a pretty lost of words up in that dressing room and, you know, I just think the hard work, toil that everyone's put in over those five days is, is really sort of hitting everyone. Jimmy Anderson was stood there saying he felt a bit emotional. He's going to try and keep himself together. So having a bloke who's played you know, near enough 180 test matches to feel like that at the end of this is, you know, I think we've, we've achieved something very special this week. Well, Ben, great captaincy and a deserving win and loved and enjoyed all five days. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Ben Stokes, the captain of England. England go one up in the series, winning the first test match by 74, and that sums up the presentation.